This is an RF modulator. This is an old Radio Shack model. And the way these work is they take an RCA video source and convert it to an RF signal that can then be modulated to channel three or four. Let's take a look at how it's set up. RF modulators had their heyday back in the late 90s and early 2000s when DVD players were all the rage. And DVD players connected to TVs through these RCA plugs. But a lot of CRT televisions, which were still very common at the time, didn't always have RCA plugs on the back. So an RF modulator was a way of connecting a DVD player to an older television. All right, so here's the back of the modulator. And the input is over here, the standard RCA plugs you see here. These would be connected to the back of your receiver, and that would be your input side. And on the output side, you just take a piece of coaxial cable, connect it to this RF jack here that says 2TV, and then connect the other side of the coax to your television, and either use channel 3 or 4. There's a selector switch here. And one important note, this little switch here that says ohms 75 or 1K, make sure this is set to 75 ohm. That's the standard impedance of a coaxial cable. All right, so here is the setup. The modulator is connected to the receiver with the RCA video plugs. And then the coax cable gets connected to the output of the modulator to the back of the television. And then all you have to do is switch to the correct channel. And in this case, I'm using channel four. You can see there. And that's it. And now you can go ahead and use your receiver and watch satellite TV. Now keep in mind, this does not give you an HD picture. But if you're using an old CRT, then you're likely not concerned with that. Devices like VCRs and digital converter boxes use RF modulation as one way to let you send content to your TV. Most people probably remember having to put the TV on channel 3 to watch a VHS tape. Well, you can still use that concept today to send content to one or more TVs in your house. Here's another example of a modulator in action. This older digital converter box is connected to this portable black and white analog television with a piece of coaxial cable. This little TV has a special antenna adapter that connects to coaxial cable and then plugs into the back of the TV so you can get an RF signal. And this digital converter box can modulate a signal to either channel three or four. I have channel three selected. So all we need to do to see the picture is to tune this to channel three. And on the screen here is the channel guide from the digital converter box. And a modern digital converter box adds in USB capability to either use as a PVR or as a multimedia player, which lets you view your own videos and photos on a USB drive. And that can be modulated to either channel three or four through the coaxial cable, either to a single television, or you can splice this into your home cable system and set up your own private TV channel to view your own content. A nice easy way to combine your modulated channel with your existing over-the-air antenna signals is to use one of these. This looks like a splitter, but it's actually known as a combiner or a diplexer. And here's a couple of older ones from Radio Shack. So these allow you to combine two or more RF signals into a single coaxial cable. So you could have your antenna signal coming in here, your modulated channel coming in here. And when you connect this to your TV, you can just run a blind scan and all of the channels will be scanned in to your television, including your over the air antenna channels, along with your modulated channel. And if you wanted to send this to more than one TV, you can connect this cable to either a splitter or a distribution amplifier. 
and send both signals to all the TVs in your house. And that will also allow you to watch your own personal content on your modulated channel. Essentially what you're setting up here is a closed circuit private cable system that's only viewable on your TVs. Check out the description of this video to see more on this topic, including videos I've made about my own home cable system using some really cool modulators. I just took this digital converter box with my USB drive that has my own videos on it and spliced it into my cable system using one of these diplexers. So this goes up to the distribution amplifier. And now what I can do is just run a channel scan on all the TVs in my house and that private channel will get scanned in and I can watch my own personal content on any TV in the house. And that private channel will come up as an analog air channel. The other channels are all DTV or digital TV channels from the TV antenna. And I only get three over the air channels. Most places get a lot more than that. So this is the channel that I created. It's playing on channel three and these are my videos. But a problem has arisen here. If I look at my channel list, I'm missing one of my over the air channels, channel two. And the reason is, is because of co-channel interference between channel three, the channel that I made and my over the air channel two. So in this case, the best thing to do I found in my area is to use a UHF modulator so that I can make my own private channels on a UHF TV channel that's far away from all the over the air channels and prevent any co-channel interference. Now, if you don't have any over the air channels on the low VHF band like I do, anywhere from channels two to six and using a modulator on channel three or four shouldn't be a problem to create your own TV channel. But if you have low VHF channels, then I would suggest getting a UHF modulator. That gives you a lot more channels that you can modulate your private channel to that are not going to interfere with your local over the air channels. RF modulators come in all different forms, but they all pretty much do the same thing. Take a video signal and change it to be usable on an RF TV channel. Most of these operate on channel three or four, just like your VCR or your digital converter box does. But this one here operates on the UHF band. And this one's really useful, especially if you want to pick a channel that is not going to interfere with any of your over the air TV antenna channels. If you plan on splicing it into your cable system. Now, most of these I've picked up at thrift stores for anywhere from four to five dollars. I bought a couple that were brand new. And they weren't very expensive, maybe in the $20 to $30 range. If you want to find one that does multiple channels or does HD modulation, then the price is going to go up significantly. But if you're shopping around and you find one of these at your local thrift store, pick it up.